qubits or quantum bits means quantum bits this is known as qubits in short okay so this qubits okay this is this lie at the heart of quantum computing yes qubits lie at the heart of quantum computing unlike uh, you know uh, in case of classical bits either 0 or 1 either of these two state is represented by a bit but in case of qubits both these states 0 and 1 may exist simultaneously ok so this is the difference between classical bits and qubits there in case of classical bits you will get either 0 or 1 only one state at a time but in case of qubits means where quantum technology or the principle of quantum mechanics is being used there you will get the superposition superposition is the principle of quantum mechanics you know this thing and in case of superposition what happens multiple states exist simultaneously unless the measurement is made whenever you are going to measure the state of the system state of the quantum system in that case the wave function collapses and you will get only one state Okay, but until the measurement is made, all these states may exist simultaneously in case of quantum superposition. So qubits, this is this is used in case of quantum computing, and this quantum computing this use this make use of. Okay, this makes use of quantum technology or the principle of quantum mechanics that is more specifically quantum superposition. And this is why parallel processing or parallel computing is possible. Where in case of classical computers, parallel processing is not possible by a single processor. Parallel processing is not possible. In case of classical computers, sequentially the problems are solved. But in case of quantum computing, by the use of qubits, parallelly you can process or parallelly you can compute so many problems simultaneously. Parallelly means actually simultaneously. Okay. So we can take examples using quantum algorithms. Uh, I am. Uh, I am. Uh, I want to talk about two algorithms: source algorithm and Grover's algorithm. You know that source algorithm that is used in case of quantum computing, and that is used to uh, make factors of large numbers into their prime numbers. Okay. Actually, if you are going to use large numbers to find the prime numbers. Okay, means if you are going to factor a very large number into their prime numbers by using a classical computer, then that is almost intractable. But using quantum computer to do the same thing becomes very easy. This way, uh, quantum computing is speeded up. Actually, speed up is exponential. Okay, it is exponential. And uh, one more example is there that is a Grover's algorithm which is used to uh, sort large database. For the sorting of large database or for uh, to make search from the large pool of data from a given database Grover's algorithm is used ok and that can be done very fast by using quantum computing means there is a large database and 
what do you need to do? You have to search that large database for a given task. And that task can be <coughs> speeded up by using quantum computing. And here this algorithm uh, is known as Grover's algorithm. Yes, there are so many problems still existing. Okay, researchers are finding the solution. They are trying to find solution of all those problems, such as quantum decoherence. Quantum decoherence problem is there. Coherence is required. But what is existing is decoherence. So actually there are so many challenges involved in quantum computing. Researchers are trying to solve all those problems. But uh, my aim of this lecture was to discuss why by the use of qubits quantum computing speeds up or how quantum computing is speeded up by the use of qubits. The main reason is quantum superposition where both the states 0 and 1 exist simultaneously. So if there are 3 qubits only then you can use the combination of 2 to the power 3 which is equal to 8. So 8 states are existing simultaneously only by using 3 qubits. So if it is 10 then the number of combinations become 2 to the power 10 which is a very large, large number. How much? 2 to the power 10? I think it is almost 1, 0, 2, 4 because 2 to the power 10 is equal to 2 to the power 5 into 2 to the power 5 that is 32 into 32 which makes 1, 0, 2, 4. So 1024 combinations you are getting just by using 10 qubits at a time. That's why exponential growth of computational speed is obtained by using uh, quantum computing technology. Okay, so this was all about uh, today's lecture. Okay, uh, topic is uh, topic is what? Qubits. Okay. Anyway, so this is the end of this video. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.